Nerf review time! What is up YouTube? It's Danny Viner here. I'm back once again with another Nerf opening video. At long last, it has really started to brighten up over here in England. We finally got the sun out, it's not raining anymore, and it's really starting to warm up. So obviously, we're going to still want to start playing our Nerf battles outside again. The problem I have with Nerf battles outside is when you lose your ammunition in the tall grass and all that kind of stuff. So maybe there should be a nerf blaster where you don't have to worry about picking up the ammunition afterwards. Well, good for us there is one. For today's opening we're going to be looking at... The Nerf Pro Gelfire Legion! That's right, this isn't traditional nerf, this is Nerf Pro. And this is obviously the first new line of what they nerfs gel fire series. Basically, these are a unique type of blasts that fire these unique gel fire rounds, which are, as it says here, soft, super absorbent polymer projectiles. Ultimately, you fire them, they pop like little water balloons, and don't really leave much of a mess. So you don't have to worry about picking up the ammunition afterwards. Cool. It should be noted there is a clear warning label on this blaster since this blaster is for ages 14 and up. So take note of those rules, people. So far, there are two in Nerf Pro's Gelfire line, which is, of course, the Legion and the Mythic. The Mythic being a battery-operated blaster that can be single or you mean, full auto-fired, whereas this one, unlike that, is spring-powered. That's right, the Legion is a spring-powered uh, gel blaster so no batteries are needed, has its own unique trigger lock, and even more interestingly, it apparently has slam fire. A slam fire gel blaster. Very impressive. Oh, and apparently those polymer rounds may stain. Hmm. Make sure not to get them on my white clothes then. One final thing to note is how small this actual Nerf box is. So you can probably give you, um, you know, a clear indication that this is probably not going to be the largest blaster of them. But then again, small compact blaster that can hold a fair amount of you know, gel fire rounds inside it. So you can you know, spring fire at any given point. Sounds pretty cool. But let's see what it all looks like once it's out of its box. Included in the, out of the box itself is the Legion itself. The Legion's Hopper, which itself comes with its own little cap, so that way you can take it off and screw it on, so it makes it easier to move around. 300 rounds, gel rounds, as you can see right there. Your protective eyewear to protect your eyes, as yes, I mean, you have to be careful when shooting this around, as those little rounds are probably going to hurt you, so don't shoot them in people's eyes. And of course, your usual unwanted instructions, but since this is Nerf Pro, I'll keep them in my back pocket for this time being. Looking at the Legion itself, as specified, this is quite a small size blaster, as you can see here as I hold it in my hands, but it's a nice size. This is actually a quite comfortable size. Should be noted that it does have a warning on top of it to say, make sure you're wearing your eyewear, but obvious, but that's to be expected if you're going to use gel fire guns. Your hopper is twisted onto the top there very easily. You have a attachment nodule at the front, so you can actually put your own like a uh, front barrel if you want. There is an end strike um, tack ray at the bottom, very similar to the Ultra series. So you could literally put your own like spare rounds. I assume they'll probably add them later on. Beneath the trigger here is the trigger lock. So if I put that in place, as you can see, I can now no longer squeeze the trigger. Flip it back forwards. I can then squeeze the trigger, so safety obviously. The priming trigger is located here, so which you prime this back and then forwards all the way to load your rounds and then obviously pull the trigger to fire. One good thing to note about the Legion is that the 300 rounds that comes with it are already hydrated and they are already to fire, so that's nice to know, so at least don't have to hydrate them. Otherwise, if you do buy hydrated rounds, which are obviously going to be a lot smaller than these are, you have to make sure to rehydrate them in water for at least four hours. But since these are already hydrated and ready to load, you just got to put them into the hopper and you're ready to fire. The hopper, as specified, is pretty small. As you can see, it's a small molded uh, plastic bottle with a, which even comes with its own lid, so you can screw this on if you so want or unscrew it. So that makes it very easy, do you know what I mean? Like if you've already got rounds in it, you can just screw it back on and keep them safe. 
and this has a capacity of at least 150 apparently, which I have to say, that's pretty impressive. Simply place the hopper on top and simply turn it to lock it into place. And yeah, size-wise, I mean, it doesn't look too bad, but it's to be expected, obviously, when you come to like these gel blasters, because they all have um, top-loading hoppers, and these can often be look considered quite ugly, because you have to look over the top and the hopper's obviously in the way. It doesn't look too bad. Again, this is a small hopper for a small blaster. Spring, But then again, this is a spring-powered blaster, and it's compact. I quite like the look of it, so yeah, not too bad. The hopper has now been filled up with the aforementioned gelets, as you can see there, or with gel fire rounds, I'll call them gelets for short. They are obviously quite bouncy, so you have to be careful when you pop them in. I've saved the rest inside of a little jar, so that way to keep them hydrated. It is said that they can last, as long as they're sealed up, quite a few weeks, so there's at least that about the gelets. So at least, I mean, they'll last a while, as long as you keep them in a sealed container, preferably in a nice cool location so that's one way to keep your gel fire rounds hydrated and now that they're officially into the hopper into the blaster let's test fire it but for this we're going to go outside so here we are outside in the front yard at the moment so i don't freak the dogs out the gel fire is fully loaded as you can see the gelets are moving around very hand nicely to fire the blaster and actually prime so that's now no doubtably loaded up the jellet, and we're going to test fire it over at the cans that I've placed on top of my green wheeler bin. Obviously I'm going to wait for this car, which is passing by, to go by first, so that way I don't risk ending up hitting the actual car itself. There we go. So now it's loaded, we're going to test fire. Oh, and remember, take the safety off. Oh, okay, a little bit fire there. There you go, so there's the jellets firing, obviously they're not too powerful, but you can hear them. There you go. So there you have it, firing the jellets. So you can just about, there you go. So you can just about see the jellets firing, obviously, because they're quite small, so hopefully you can see that on the camera not overly strong and I've got a little bit of a bounce back there but obviously they're hitting the actual cans themselves and they are popping as they're doing so. So I'm going to try the slam fire now. So I'm going to hold the trigger. Yep, and slam fire works as you can see pretty well. Fire a couple into the belief as well. Yeah, slam fire works pretty well. So Obviously because the rounds are so small and the actual thing itself is obscuring my aim I'm kind of missing a little bit because I can't actually see over the actual I mean loader itself But yeah, you're going for the rounds pretty quickly and as you can see they are popping as they hit You don't have to worry about the rounds because they are biodegradable so they're not dangerous to the environment So yeah, I have to say that's pretty impressive And with the firing out of the way that is a look at the Nerf Pro Gel Fire Legion and yeah, as a gel fire gun, it's a pretty good starting weapon because again, this goes for a price of 20 UK pounds, so it's pretty cheap. Um, yeah, and again, it comes with 300 already pre-hydrated gels. As you can see, I fired quite a few in my time when I wasn't, I mean, shooting on the thing. Um, so yeah, they're quite fun. Um, Yes, and again, the gel the rounds do pop quite easily, obviously. I mean, you have to obviously squeeze them quite tightly between your fingers before you actually start to cause them to break apart and just, you mean, fall apart in your hand. But yeah, once you fire them, obviously, once they hit a solid surface, they'll obviously pop like that. But yeah, they work really well. So naturally, if you're interested in getting into gel blasters, this is actually a quite a good uh, one to pick up because, again, it's spring powered, so again, you don't have to pay extra for like batteries and uh, bits like that. The good thing, though, to note about the um, one which is more expensive one, the Mythic, is that it comes with its own rechargeable lithium battery, which I mean, you can plug into a USB port, which is very handy. And I quite like that. But again, this one, it's very simplistic for its design, 
with it being your main spring power and I was quite impressed as well with how the slam fire worked because I wondered how's the slam fire can actually function with this but obviously just holding the trigger down and literally just priming back and forth it fired pretty consistently obviously I mean loading it is simple you I mean you're obviously going to make sure you're going to be holding it upwards like that whenever you're priming because like that it's not going to load and also it should also be noted that this gun does require a little bit of maintenance when you're not in use this is mostly just to make sure that none of the gel bits get stuck in the actual blaster itself so you just want to get like a little um like ear stick or something and just a little swab and just gently let I me mean, dry swab it just to get any gunk out of there so it's very low maintenance to say the least which is well i like that it's quite nice about it so it's my first gel gun and i have to say yeah quite fun Obviously, I mean, I wasn't expect. I was. I'll, I'll be honest. I kind of expected it to hit a little harder, but then again, I'm guessing to be expected with it being spring powered gel balls. Obviously, they're going to go so far. I did obviously test it. You I mean quite close range on my hand to see. Ooh, they got a little bit of a kick from it, but that's fine. I don't think. I mean, there's anything wrong with it. Obviously, yes. If you're going to play this like with multiple people and they've all got gel guns, make sure you wear eye protection because you I mean it did come with it. Obviously, I wasn't using it because I've got my own glasses on, but obviously they're not as protective as these are. And obviously, you want to make sure that you store your excess gels in a nice airtight container. Make sure they stay hydrated so that way they you know, and use them up. Obviously, over time, they can last for a while. But obviously not too long because eventually they will eventually start to dry and swell out a little bit. And if they do, they won't function properly in the blaster and you're better off getting rid of them. And apparently if you do leave them too long in bad areas, they can get they can start to get mouldy, which is not good at all. But with that said, that is a look at the Nerf Pro Gel Fire Legion. I'm very impressed with it. It's another one to go with my ever-growing collection. Who knows what, what Nerf Blasters I'll be going with and having a look at next. I do hope you enjoyed this video. Please be sure to like, subscribe and hit that notification bell if you haven't. So that way you can keep abreast of all my upcoming videos. Be they Nerf, gaming or anything else. And I'll see you all in my next Nerf opening video. Laters.